On February 2nd, the Positive News team stopped by to cover Media Day at Jesse Bethel High School. The event was to take a look back at the early life of the Broncos running back CJ Anderson in his hometown of Vallejo, California. CJ Anderson was born February 10th in 1991. CJ played for Jesse Bethel in his high school years and was named Athlete of the Year by the Vallejo Times Herald. Multiple news stations were present Tuesday to meet with his friends and family. Our team had a chance to grab an interview with his childhood friend Gary Lee and his coach Jeff Turner. So we're here with Vallejo Vision and we have Coach Gary who works here at Bethel and we'd like to ask, how was it growing up with CJ? Um, Pretty fun. I mean, CJ is a, when you get to know him, he's a big ball of energy. He's energetic, hardworking. He's a good role model for the kids nowadays. Um, as CJ was, how how do you how do you expect the Super Bowl to uh, turn out? In a sense, would you expect CJ to win with the Broncos, or would you expect otherwise? I always expect him to win. Whenever he's on the field, I, I root for him to win. Well, how is how has CJ affected the community and? Well, moreover, into you or personally or whoever it may be. Um, I see CJ affecting the community because he's a good role model because he's he's home based. Everything he did from elementary school, middle school, high school, even staying local and going to Laney and Cal Berkeley, he say did everything local. So he's a good example of if you try hard, you can still make it. Um. Uh, would you give any specific message to CJ now as he has made an all-star into the Super Bowl? Um, the same message I give it to him all the time. Be better than you were yesterday. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here with Coach Turner, um, Bethel's advisor to athletics. Um, what do you know about CJ? How has CJ been here at the school? I know a whole lot about CJ. Um, CJ, as a, as a student, was an average student. Um, did enough to make sure he was able to play sports and whatnot. Um, and then when he got to junior college and college, he really realized how important school was. And um, that's where he really excelled at Cal. Um, he got good grades and graduated from Cal. As an athlete, um, there's not a whole lot better than CJ that I've dealt with. Um, there's probably one or two kids that have had the kind of potential that CJ has. But um, CJ um, has done the little things to get where he's at right now. What would you say, how do you, can you reference any necessarily exemplary performances that he did here while he was at Bethel? Sure. Um, there's two things, two, two things that stick out in my head. The first one was he, when, he, when he was a sophomore, uh, we were on the one yard line and we had to go 99 yards to score. Mm -hmm. uh, we called a quarterback sneak where you step back and you run up the middle. Um, we did that just to get out of the end zone so we had some room to, for our offense. Well, CJ went 99 yards for a touchdown. And I, I want to say I was either sophomore, or, I think it was a sophomore year. And at that point, when he did that, we knew we had a good one. Um, his junior year, we were playing Rodriguez, and it was the regular season, and we were punting. CJ's the punter. Um, and then I don't like kids calling their own plays, so he changed the play. We were punting, but he wanted to do something else. Mm -hmm. He did something else and scored a, went 65, 70 yards for a touchdown. So um, he was an amazing, amazing athlete. Um, and we and they, now he's in this, playing the, his second Super Bowl. Yes. So would there be any message that you'd like to give to CJ? As he is in pro now, he's about to go on to the Super Bowl next Sunday. You know, I think um, the only thing I, I like to remind CJ of is um, respect the game of football. Don't be bigger than the game and then just play it like he d it does. This, he loves the game of football. Just keep playing it the way you play it, but make sure you respect it, because it is, it is bigger than we all are. All right, thank you. You're very welcome.